I am the one who will save humanity in the name of God. And will place it in a new stair of evolution so that it may receive the opportunity to love just as I love you, to live just as I live. To realize the works of God just as the Father needs it. And thus bring spiritual healing for humanity. Here it is, the one who comes on the white horse of God and announces the victory of the cross above all evil congregates the legions of the Father and gathers them, calls all by their names. Just as God called the ancient people of Israel, today the tribes are dispersed throughout the world. But the Lord of the universe, the Son of Adonai, summons you once again in this crucial and definitive time because as you know there is something to do for this planet and its humanity before the needles of the clock of God indicate the last moments of the spiritual amnesty. Pray internally at this moment for the souls that are sleeping. Implore with all the strength of the love of your hearts for those who walk in the abysses, abysms and perversions of these times, for those who transgress the laws every day, and also hurt and exploit the kingdoms of nature. All of creation is observing this moment. Today, the Son of God is not here as a judge, but rather as a mediator of divine mercy, as advocate of souls and essences of the world. For this reason, may at this hour peace prevail so that souls may make the correct decisions and their acts may be conse cons consequent according to what the law needs it. Because still, on this day, the Son of the Father on the white horse of God still sustains the pendle that will bring with all the strength and power the payment that humanity will have to experience. But I died for you I suffered for you and grieved for you. I gave my blood for each one of you until the last beating of my heart. If you honor, adore, and recognize this sacred merit of your Redeemer, the spiritual amnesty will be considered by the universe and all the suffering, sorrows, martyrdoms and agonies 
vividos por su Redentor hasta la cruz, experienced by our Redeemer until the cross, will compensate the mistakes made by this current human race, because there must be souls on the surface of the earth that will recognize the legacy of your Master and Lord. You overcome the mysteries of God in wisdom and the hearts will recognize within themselves the flame, the crystal flame and fire that transmutes, liberates and forgives everything. With this fire that I bring you from Adonai, the son of the Father, on the white horse of God, comes to announce a time of extraordinary grace that will be considered for the most the worst sinners for all souls there are within the spiritual abysses of the earth that lost the path of God that is the path of universal love for this reason this grace is widely conceded through the addition adherence of the good hearts to my sacred and unfathomable heart this white horse of God which I am riding today is the white horse of the beloved Archangel Michael that united, united as a single consciousness and essence we come to defeat the hells of the earth so that the most fallen stars of this planet may have a moment of awakening and may perceive the reality that at this moment they are not perceiving or seeing. The spiritual amnesty is not to commit the same mistakes one, once again, is to change mistakes and transform them. It is to redeem human ego and so that the consciousness may be able to be raised, elevated by the plan of God. with the power of the Archangel Michael. Today I bring you the call of the Father and the celestial spheres descend upon the Amazon so that the sacred Eden of God lovingly donated and thought for each one of his children may be able to be protected and human consciousness may learn to take care and mainly love the hidden treasures that God gave them at this place and that the indigenous consciousness itself, the sacred original peoples, know what I am talking about but this hidden knowledge that comes from God may not only be known by the kingdoms of nature and original peoples all the human consciousness of this people in Brazil of this place and Brazil must continue praying with fervor as they have been doing up to this present moment, committing themselves with this path of the infinite life of prayer 
so that everything may continue being transformed and more opportunities and graces may not only be granted to this nation but also to the whole world. Today Adonai is with his book of light open and with the feather of light in his hand he waits to write himself the decision of his children. This is how the spiritual universe approaches and communes of the material universe so that souls may have the opportunity to reach him, to reach it by means of the beloved son, the mediator and advocate of souls. Through the good Jesus, may souls be able to reach the mercy of God and thus write on this sacred book the inner decision that has been made by each one of his children. But know that this does not end here. You will build this decision day after day, not only in a spiritual way, in an internal or divine way. You will build this decision in your actions, in your acts, in your surrender to life, to the plan of God, to your fellow beings, because this is the time to offer oneself as an instrument of God just as many offered themselves throughout human history and they were witnesses of the immensity of the love of God and up, up to what point this infinite of the Father can reach even to the most impossible and difficult situations of humanity and the planet. Com commit yourselves before this inner decision that you are making before the portals of the kingdom of God to be carers of the kingdoms of nature to take relief to the suffering that they live to give love to the pain that they feel And thus your paths will open, your problems will end, and wisdom will emerge, so that you may make good decisions from now on, knowing that there is still much to be done and that you will continue writing this story after this life because your lives will be this story part of the testimonial of the love of God of the redemption that you will live in this time even after death Thus, you will also elevate all those who are around you. And even if in the future you are not supposed to be on this planet, 
but rather in other spheres of the universe, learning more about love and donation given, you will know, my companions, to place yourselves at the service of the plan above your limitations, your spirit can reach a higher degree than it seems and be very close to God just as his son is very close to the father seek tirelessly this approach to God because in this way not only your lives will be elevated will be transcended and transmuted but also my companions your families your acquaintances and friends will also be helped at some moment of their lives because God shows himself at the necessary moment in the way that is necessary for his children to be able to recognize him not only in religion but also through the kingdoms of nature God is here not only because his son is here but he is here before I am and before you God is part of this planet he is the same consciousness of this creation this is why I say it to the everyone and to the whole world no longer offend God do not hurt it do not sacrifice it does not make it die take care of God just as he takes care of you in his profound and intimate silence and thus my companions you will be reborn Amen This passage of my divine consciousness at this place cannot end here, must not end here. This is why I will leave in this place and in this city operative base of missionary work as well as a monastery of this order consecrated in my name so that the souls of this city and the original peoples may receive the help they need as well as those who come pilgrim on pilgrimage seeking an opportunity it is a moment for companions for the islands of salvation to be established those that will keep the synthesis of the project of God's creation not in a specific place but rather in the hearts of peoples of people of those who have faith in the supreme creator this will be an inexhaustible and incalculable treasure and everyone will be able to participate of these treasures in the actions of mercy of fraternity of kindness of providence of manifestation of healing of forgiveness of redemption of reconciliation
medio de este momento sagrado concedido por el Padre. By means of the sacred moment granted by the eternal Father, I have also specially come to Manaus directly from heaven to consecrate new missionaries and also to offer you from the depths of my heart the greatest sacrament of reconciliation that is the union with me, the Eucharist. Enjoy and hope and renovation may we stand up to accompany this moment of consecration May the spiritual light of these oils represent the testimonial of consecration and of renovation of souls as well as of spiritual healing that souls need in order to take new steps. Now I call here those who are auxiliary missionaries for them to receive the consecration. a ser Cristo tu el amor para acompañar esta consagración.
Now we will call the missionaries that we will be consecrated as matrix missionaries.
Those who can, let us kneel down to celebrate communion. Let us listen to the instruments of thus spoke the Master, Asi habló el Maestro. And now I have placed myself above you to bless you in this new task that you will begin that is part and work of my divine mercy for those who suffer the most and have nothing carrying through your gestures of love and service the so necessary and urgent healing to humanity for this reason as my apostles I gather you around my table of my poor and simple table being received by the sacred womb of creation through nature and its kingdoms to be able to celebrate not only the communion with my body and blood but also with the essence of divine project that from the origins, from the beginning, manifested and created you out of love for you to be happy in my Father and so that you would live in my Father so that you would serve him and know him by means of living in experience of the degrees of law. Today your step before me you allow the steps of many more souls in missionary life so the spiritual relief of the hierarchy may reach the world as well as the awakening of the consciousness of humanity. For this reason, in that time, I was in a place similar to this, gathered with my apostles, but today making a bridge of light between time and space. I take you to the moment of my last supper so that you may remember, so that you may feel and so that you may recognize the supreme will of God. In that time, I took the bread, I raised it for God to bless it, and the angels to transubstantiate it in my, into my blood, body. Then I broke it and gave it to my apostles, saying to them, Take and eat it, because this is my body, that will be given by your Redeemer for the forgiveness of sins. We praise you, Lord, and we bless you. We praise you, Lord, and we bless you. We praise you, Lord, and we bless you.
commune all at this moment of my spiritual body so that the mystical church of God by means of the mystical body that conforms it from all souls may be strengthened and expanded with all the love of my heart to the whole world. Amen. Then I took the chalice in my hands, raising it for God to bless it and the angels to transubstantiate it into my blood. Then I gave it to the apostles, saying to them, Take it and drink. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new covenant that will be shed by your Redeemer for the remission of faults. Do it always in my memory. We praise you, Lord, and we bless you. We praise you, Lord, and we bless you. We praise you, Lord, and we bless you. united with our Lord Jesus Christ and His Holy Celestial Church, we repeat in humility and love the prayer that He taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses and forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. I will always leave my peace to you 
for you to be able to experience it and share it with your brothers and sisters because peace will always lead you to love it will fill your spirits and souls thus you will be renewed you will continue taking steps in the trust and faith of God to be able to manifest his plans and above all his will may this peace that descended into the apostles even after my resurrection may descend today into you so that the gifts of the Holy Spirit may awaken the virtues of your hearts and may make you partakers of the service of love for humanity for eternal life Amen. I bless in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may stand up. And in fraternity and love, in the name of Christ, you will give the greeting of peace. I thank you for having been with me here in the Amazon. The end of a sacred union. The end of a sacred gathering has reached this moment. I thank you.